Uh, what is my talk about? Well, that that is kind of the tricky question, isn't it? Isn't it? Uh, I often don't know until my talk is finished, even maybe after I've given the talk, before I know exactly what I was trying to say. Um, but in the last number of talks, I've been trying to talk about um, a thing that I call value-oriented programming. Uh, can you can you like put that on the screen? Do you just put like yeah right? Ready? Value-oriented program. Yes, thank you. Value-oriented programming. Um, and uh, I, I set out. I was like, okay, I'm gonna. I, I, it always comes up in my talks, and I was like, okay, I'm really gonna do it this time. I'm gonna do a talk on value-oriented program. Um, and what is value-oriented programming? Um, well, it's like object object oriented programming um, but oriented around values more than objects uh, yes yeah, so it's <laughs> yeah, right vop it's it's like oop but with a v neither of those are good are good uh, abbreviations um, top top sop no top would be good sop would top would be like Test-oriented programming? That, why, who called it TDD when they could have called it top? Um, I should tweet that. That's a good tweet. Um, Semantic-oriented programming? SOP? That'd be bad. It's a good. I don't know what semantic-oriented programming means, but I like it. But it's not a good abbreviation. Top would be good. Anyhow, VOP. Yes, VOP. Um, values are like, um, like 17. 17 is an awesome value. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's always 17. You can, you know, it never changes. It's 17. You can count on it. Get it? 17 is a number. You can count on it. Um, it will never let you down. It's always 17. Um, whereas objects are tricky. Um, what's that, uh, what's that ship? Um, no, no, not, not the VASA. That's, yeah, that's the C++ ship. Um, the other one that changes uh, one one piece of wood at a yeah 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 that the uh, what's it the uh, th um, the Theseus yes Theseus um, right that then the idea of the Theseus is that it is a ship that changes one piece of wood at a time you you take out one piece of the ship and replace it until eventually you've replaced the whole ship. Um, and then you ask, is it the same object? And that's the whole point of objects. They have identity and stuff. Whereas a value, you don't care. It's just, it's the ship. It's the value of the ship. Um, anyhow, where was I? Oh, right. So I would like to talk about values and value-oriented programming. And I would like to talk about the value of value-oriented programming. Um, and whenever I start talking about the value of value-oriented programming, um, I end up talking about functions. So um, function-oriented programming, FOP, eh, yeah, yeah, yeah. no. Um, and I don't want to um, go all the way down the road of functional programming, right? I don't want to talk about functional programming. I just want function-oriented, value-oriented functions. Um, no monads. We don't need monads. Right? Um, uh, I just want functions and, and how they... Uh, work with values and objects, um, but it is not going to be uh, intro, like rudimentary, basic uh, version of uh, talk on functions. I think it's actually a talk that everyone could could make use of, because um, I don't know about you, but I've seen a lot, <laughs> right? I've seen a lot of um, functions, and I think we could do a better job. All of us could do a better job of of how, how we write functions. So that's what the talk's about. Right, yes, it, it is at uh, C++, C++ North, July 18th to 20th in Toronto. You should go there, it's gonna be awesome. Wait, hey, what? That, wait a second, is that, that's my, that's, that's my tweet. I, I, I was gonna tweet that. <laughs>